Hello everyone, today I'm talking about why anxiety programs, so the learned anxiety habit, must be hard to shift. It's why results don't come quickly, it's why they shouldn't come quickly as much as we want them to, it's why the quick fixes don't work. And it's all to do with the subconscious part of the brain or the unconscious mind, some people call it, which represents about, they say, 90% of the brain's operating power. So often we want it to go away. We get frustrated with these programs. We don't even realize it's a learned program. We get some awareness of anxiety and we're no longer bewildered. We read my book, sorry, Claire's book, Claire Wicks' book. We watch my videos, get good information from other sources, yet we still are struggling to lose the habit. And that's because these programs are hard to shift and that because that's how the body operates and learn and works through life. Because ang- the anxiety habit is only one of many, 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 many autopilot programs that you've got that are embedded in the subconscious part of the brain that activate physiological symptoms, programs, habits, um, behaviors, without you even having to think about it. And there's lots of really good programs that we don't want to shift easily. So it's important just in terms of how we get through life that these unconscious programs do not shift instantly. These are autopilot reactions, including the ones that are necessary for our safety. So if we take the flight or fight response, the flight or fight response, which obviously for anxiety sufferers is overactive, is actually a very healthy and important response. And it's a learned program embedded in that subconscious part of the brain, which again is 90 to 95% of the brain's power. Um, So when a car comes at you in the street, you automatically, without having to think about it, without having to do a review or reflection, decide, you instantly react. You jump out of the way, hopefully, you move away from the danger if you're facing some other physical threat instantly because in those moments, your safety is important. If you're learning a sport in the heat of the moment in competition, you've learned a program automatically. So the ball comes at you, you just hit it without even thinking about it. I just did that without even thinking about it because I've done it so many times. And I want that autopilot program to kick in. When you're going up some stairs quickly, maybe your child's hurt themselves, you're running down the stairs, you don't have to think about putting your foot here, moving your knee in the right position, moving your arms correctly, moving your head correctly. It all just happens in flow. Again, another important program we don't want to just suddenly shut down. So that's why the anxiety program, and it is just another program we've learned, in an unhelpful way over the years, we've learned that that we need to be activated, constantly scanning, looking for danger, overthinking, worrying, reacting to symptoms. We've learned incorrectly. So this is an unhelpful program to be safe. And so even, so the body still sees that as essential. Anything that, that gets embedded in the subconscious part of the brain, the body sees as essential. If you've thought about it enough, you've done it enough, this behavior, habit, thinking pattern, whatever, the body goes, right, well, this must be important. So I'm going to make it easier for you. So we'll just put it in there and it will just play automatically when you go outside, when you react to the email, when you think about X, Y, and Z, your kids, the heartbeat, um, tension in the body. When you think about recovery, I'm going to react. And again, we know that there's, because of sensitization, you're very reactive because this reactivity has been learned and built up over time, but it's actually not our natural state. The flight or fight response, this reactive response, is, this should be reserved for when there is a physical threat, but we've overridden it through a habit, through what we've learned in life, through no fault of our own, of course, but we've learned that habit. And again, if something's in the subconscious part of the brain, the body considers it essential, like all the other essential good habits that we don't want to lose, But the subconscious part of the brain has no ability to discern. If it's in there, it's in there. It's why from the ages of zero to seven, what we are exposed to learn and hear become embedded in our subconscious because at that young age, we have no ability to discern what's helpful or what's not. We learn something from our parents, which is great. We learn a habit from them, which is really unhelpful. It all goes in. We just absorb without any cognitive ability 
we go, no, that's not helpful. I'm not going to learn that anxiety program. If we learn anxiety from our parents, our society, the news, at that age particularly, that's why childhood is so formative. It, it gets embedded in there. Now, that can sound difficult, but the good news is we can go in and do some reprogramming, re reprogramming, which is what my videos are all about how you can rewire your brain using that sort of five to 10% of the conscious mind. As you're sitting here listening to this, your body's reacting maybe with some sensitization tension. There's five to 10% of your awareness, that wisdom, that consciousness that I'm appealing to. So when the body reacts, we immediately zoom out, breathe, go loose, allow. And every time you're doing that, you're starting the reprogramming process. So you're using that five to 10% to go in, because you're now recognized the unhelpful programs, you're not bewildered, you know it's an autopilot program. And so you're all then instructing the subconscious to form a new program of non-reactivity. And that's learning. So there's lots of programs in there. You've still got the old one of reactivity. You're learning the one of allowing, if I can call it that, going loose, letting it all happen. And, and it just takes time because again, we're, it's five to 10% of the conscious mind. That's why you won't get it perfect. We're working against sometimes years of programming and that's okay. We still have many beautiful moments along the way on the journey to recovery, but it takes time for that reason. So every time we allow go loose, we're doing some rewiring and reprogramming. Um, and over time, the body will learn, oh, okay, this program's not essential. I'll stop activating it as much. This new program of allowing is more essential because he keeps, every time I react, he keeps think, he keeps allowing. So therefore, okay, again, I'm just gonna follow the instructions I'm absorbing and your conscious mind is giving it new instructions. Every time you watch a video, you're reprogramming. Every time you go loose, that's why the reminders are important because it's five to 10% of the conscious mind versus 90% of the unconscious mind. And that's a good thing. Um, so this is the way to recovery through this reprogramming process, but we're doing it all consciously. And again, we don't have to be recovered to be happy because we always get relief from how we feel. We're just getting through the, each moment as best we can and using our greater awareness to do that. Um, and every time you do it, you're cultivating and strengthening and hardwiring those new neural pathways corresponding to the non-anxiety habit, which is how we ultimately end up in recovery. But also why when you're recovered, it's very hard to slip back into the anxiety state because you've got these new programs. Or if you do, because life circumstances get really busy, those old neural pathways are there waiting, waiting to be activated. So it's a lot easier to get back on track. So I just wanted to explain that because sometimes it feels like a bit of a battle and it feels hard unnecessarily, but it should be hard and that's actually okay. And that's why the process of re recovery will ultimately help you form a new habit that will stick for the rest of your life. I hope that helps.